Hey y'all, this dish gets a lot of flavor by just letting the ingredients shine through. Ginger adds a nice surprise to the fish and a simple sauce highlights the natural earthiness of the beets. I highly recommend roasting your beets on prep day. It really does cut down on time. But if you don't get around to it, you can still use the time the beets are roasting to get some other things done before coming back to the kitchen to finish this recipe. That's why I love roasting. The act of cooking time is very minimal. On that note, let's get cooking. If you didn't prep your beets on prep day, start by roasting the beets. You're gonna heat the oven to 400 and wrap the beets in foil. Bake them for 40 to 50 minutes or until tender. When the beets are done roasting, unwrap them from the foil to help them cool faster. Once cooled, peel the roasted beets and slice them into rounds. While you are waiting for the beets to cool enough to handle, cook the rest of the dish as follows. This is also where you'd begin if you did roast the beets on prep day. Start by heating the oven to 425 and lining a baking sheet in foil. Place the salmon on the baking sheet. Coat each piece of salmon in olive oil and half the ginger, plus a little salt and pepper. Place the salmon in the oven and roast for 10 minutes. While the fish is roasting, mix the vinegar, lemon juice, and a third cup of water in a saucepan. Add the onion. Now bring all of that to a boil. Add a little salt and pepper, then pour in the quarter cup of olive oil and let it simmer for a minute or so. Then turn off the heat. Once the fish is done roasting, remove it from the oven and use a thin spatula to separate the flesh from the skin. Then place the salmon on a plate. Add the beet slices to the liquid and spoon that mixture over all of the fish. Eat up.